Hey everybody, welcome back to Cook Serve Delicious. My name is Bear. We have got a crazy Dave bed. He needs us to get a 22 combo. And of course, we ended last day with a 69 combo. So obviously, Crazy Dave is insane. And we need to admit him to a medical facility because I'm actually starting to get a bit concerned for him. But nonetheless, we gotta check out our active menu here. I think I actually need to swap off the uh, daily special here. I'm gonna throw the fish back on, of course, because that's a 10% buzz boost that we just generated right there. And I think we'd actually upgrade our uh, chicken price here, so... Not really gonna change much. That's just gonna be a new line of IQI injected chicken, so we obviously want to fill our customers with hormones. That's the, uh, that's the primary goal of any one-star cafe, right? So go ahead and grab that. That's just a, a very easy way to make 10 bucks in place of 6 for the chicken that we've got on the menu. Hopefully we'll be able to recuperate that cost pretty soon here. Probably not going to be too difficult. Daily special going to be the, uh, the chicken, as we mentioned before, going to be a very nice, very nice upgrade to have by way of that very thing. We only have $16 to our name right now, though. That is, uh, that's kind of sad. It's a little sad. We're going we're gonna to boost that number up, though. We're going to be, we're going to be rolling in it before long, man. It's kind of funny, like, the, uh, the end game of this of Cook, Serve, Delicious here. You, you get to the point where money really just doesn't matter at all. You're just throwing it away. <laughs> you just have no reason to want to have that much cash. But for now, of course, we still need to desperately cling to every dime we have. They don't want you to lose your mind every time you're mad. You see that? You see how I worked that in there? I'm going to get muted now if this is a Twitch VOD, which it's not, luckily. Although it is YouTube. I guess this is worse than Twitch VOD, isn't it? This is like the, uh... This is like if Twitch VOD had confidence issues. That would be <laughs> the YouTube copyright system. Oh, man. What fun we have talking about silly, silly, stupid stuff. And cook, serve, delicious. That's why I have this series, right? Like, that's what... That's what it's all about. Just being a dumbo. And doing dishes really quickly. God, that'd be such a nice, a nice ability to have in your everyday life. Honestly, like, the idea of this guy running this entire establishment by himself is entirely, uh... I think I just totally botched that lasagna there. Shoot. It's entirely incredible. Just thinking about the amount of things this dude's able to do on his own. Really insane. I did mess up that lasagna order, unfortunately. I take pride in my lasagnas, man. I can't be messing up lasagna orders. That's like the last thing on my mind. I'm not even thinking about lasagna, I'm just smacking keys around. I'm an abusive keyboard owner. There we go, get some steak going. Gotta do some fast chicken, too. Can't wait until we've upgraded our people. <laughs> that sounds so terrible out of context, but it's true, man. These people just look so lazy. They're not even trying to impress me. Makes me feel bad. It's the kind of stuff you're doing to people when you walk into a restaurant with a wife beater having shaved in four days. You 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 make me feel bad about myself. Like man, if I'm in the kind of place where he doesn't even have to feel like he cares about his appearance, where am I? Where am I spending 10 out of the 24 hours of my day? Sleeping and then coming back to spend the next 10. It's not even 10, it's like 13, isn't it? It's ridiculous. What is our shift? It's 9 to 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. I guess that's 13, yeah. That's insane. I mean, we, we, we've talked about it before, but like... My, my psychological stability has got to be in question. Also, 69% buzz. Well, I guess I feel better now. 69% buzz will make anybody feel good. He's got a nice hat, though. Got a little fedora going on. I have a... I have a mouse cursor on the screen that whole time. I am so sorry. I apologize dearly for that. That is just... The cardinal sin of Cook Serve Delicious. I feel like we need to go with kebabs or something. I need, I need to make this a bit more insane. Or I just need to keep go going with the way I'm doing things now. We're making a decent amount of money here. We've already got a bomb guy hype. We've already got ourselves about 500 bucks. Not bad. 
I haven't even hit the second rush hour yet. I feel pretty good about that, actually. Got Crazy Dave's bet as well, obviously gonna help us out. Extra $600 in our pocket as soon as we walk away from this one. And that lemon in there. First, it would be nice to have that extra 250 for the uh, perfect day, but can't get them all. Unless you're beautiful. You can't get them all unless you're beautiful. Rule one, don't be unattractive, and rule two, be attractive. It's just unfortunately the way one star cafes have to work. That's how I, that, that's the, uh, the influence I put on them to try to look like they're making an attempt. I mean, so superficial about the way I approach my patrons. Oh, God. I'm the worst. Look at all that chicken, man. Holy cow, that's 40 bucks of meat we are looking at on this on this grill. That is beautiful. And a $2 tip as well. All right. That's wonderful. The buzz boost, too. I wonder if that took away my port of my, uh, my 69%. Probably. It's all over. Oh, no, it didn't. It's still there. Awesome. That's a good feeling. One, two, three, juice. Okay, I'm pretty sure I got that one, okay? How much are we making on the steak right now? We will find out. Ten bucks. I guess that's reasonable. Not entirely insane to think of a ten dollar steak. Selling steak, chicken, and soup, man, you'd think we'd be in really good shape here. I keep, uh, I don't know, I keep going back on my, on my previous analyses. Analyses? Yeah, that sounds about right. Of our current situation. We're gonna make about, you know, $800 today. That's pretty good. I think I can be satisfied with that. It's, it's, we'll get to the point where we're making like two grand a day. It's probably not that, uh, that close to now, but... Man, that would be nice. I'm gonna aspire to bigger things, man. I wanna have two geese sitting here. Or something. I want like two statues of Abraham. It's the biblical Abraham in my restaurant. I want to make a large group of people very uncomfortable. I'd probably feel uncomfortable about that, especially if it looked angry. You better not eat that chicken. Thus saith Abraham. Nah, you can have it. That's all right. You don't need hair. You don't need Abraham in your life either, man. All you need is chicken. Leroy Jenkins of Cook Serve Delicious. There we go. One average order. Eh, about 890 bucks. Give or take zero dollars. 15 out of 20 days toward the two star checklist being complete. And a silver ticket. All right. It's good news. There's $600 from Crazy Dave as well. Safety inspection coming up today. First time using computer. Steak upgrade and some menu rot. So what can we do here? $1,400. Let's look, take a look at our bet. Ah, fries and nachos. I don't know about that one. Well, I guess I could do it. Do I have that? I think I have fries and nachos. Do I not have nachos? I don't think I have nachos, huh? Nachos isn't a bad one. Maybe I should consider getting that. We're gonna have to switch it up quite a bit today, though. We got a lot of foods on menu rot. Let's go ahead and throw the beer back on. Beer special. Nice. Get the pasta going as well. How about some coffee? Maybe some pizza. Get some more to-go orders going. That's not terrible. I can roll with that. Let's see if we can upgrade any of these. I think we can upgrade the salad, actually. Yeah, we can. How about the pasta as well? We can up that to $14. Well, there's the $12 upgrade for the salad. Burgers go up to 8 bucks. I don't think we can upgrade it. Well, we can't upgrade soda, but meh. And then uh, $8 pizza. Actually, this is pretty cheap to get up to $8 for the soda. Which is insane when you think about it. Regardless of the size of soda you get, it's always $8. That's ridiculous. You know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and do that. We'll upgrade the soda here. Make a little bit more cash, hopefully. There we go. Can't go much further beyond that. That's okay. And that's basically it. Alright. That'll do. Uh, yeah. There's not a lot of equipment we can look at really either. We can get the commercial toilet, but I'm pretty sure I don't want to waste $500 on that. Also, the rat pesticide, but that one's pretty simple to do as well. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I think we're good here. Bears Beers back on special. Let's do it. Let's do it, baby. 
I am ready to get some people drunk. Some early cans drunk, if you know what I mean. But 9 a.m., walk in the door with a good buzz going kind of drunk. You feel like today's your day, man. You're gonna go up to your boss and you're gonna say, I'm sick of your stuff. I bruise and you're not gonna yeah, you know, I'm not gonna take your crap anymore. And then you just vomit everywhere. I'm I'm talking like projectile aggressive vomiting. That's the kind of message you need to send this morning. You need to walk up to his office or hers. Affirmative action. And you say because that's, you know, that's the sound you're making. Apparently a lot of people feel that way this morning, though. Five out of seven orders of the, of the uh, 9 to 11 a.m. hours. Just a big old pitcher of brew. This is a, that's like a full-size pitcher, too, man. That ain't no... That ain't no chump stuff. These guys are getting big old mugs. I guess it's not a pitcher, then, is it? I'm happy to fill them though. Oh god, I overfilled that one? What? No! Ah, oh, damn it. I could have sworn I got that one perfectly. Oh well. I'm trusting my pouring finger too much, man. Thought I had this down to a science. I should just do a day that just entirely consists of beers. And just continually get people to walk on by. Like, look, nobody's even stopping. <laughs> it just... It just comes right on down to you, man. You, you got places to be. You don't got time to be standing here waiting for a beer. Jumbo tea with ice and flavor blast. We've added the flavor blast to our uh, to our soda smorgasbord today. Pretty solid upgrade. Small diet with ice can do. There we are. Nice thousand island cheese, greens, and carrots. Flush the toilet and fill the jumbo diet. A jumbo diet with ice and flavor blast. You're kind of defeating the purpose there of the diet, ain't you, bud? Love judging these people. Makes me feel so much better about myself. Look at you and your stupid one hook overalls. That's a, that's a true fashion statement right there, man. This guy don't give a shit. He is his own man. You know what? I respect that. I don't like it, but damn it, I respect it. I'm impressed. I'm gonna start wearing overalls with one sleeve. Sleeve? What is that even called? Like the. the latch? Jumbo water with ice and flavor blast. Yummy! Oh, that sounds delicious. Oh yeah, we got the safety inspection today as well. Oh, careful about that one. And a little bit of musical lag. You gotta love it. What are those called? Straps, that's what that is. Suspender strap. That's the word I'm looking for. Something that I use very commonly. Both the word and the thing. If it weren't for suspender straps, how would I possibly keep this positive demeanor? I'll tell you how I wouldn't. I'll tell you I'll tell you how, semicolon I wouldn't. No wait, that's not that's not correct. The oatmeal would have a heyday with that use of the semicolon. Am I right or am I wrong? I got a lot of orders today, unfortunately. Kind of a slower 52% buzz. Let's see if maybe we can get ourselves up into the uh 40 combo range. You gotta set goals, man. If Cook Serve Delicious ain't gonna set goals for you, you gotta set your own damn goals. That's how you keep it aspiring to greater heights and greater stars as well. Literally shooting for the stars in Cook Serve Delicious. Small flavor blast Coke. I can get down with that. Boop! Or Pepsi. Coke or Pepsi? Huh? Is it even a debate? Do people like Pepsi over Coke? I feel like it's just like, you know, well, I'll take the pep. It's like people who like Coke, and then people who, who like Coke too much to have Pepsi. Right? Or am I crazy? Maybe I'm insane. Maybe there are a lot of people who are big fans of Pepsi. I had a friend whose dad worked for Pepsi, actually. Kind of forced them to be fans of it. He would, he would abuse them. They didn't drink their Pepsi. That's not true. It's a complete lie. Uh, chicken. Very important part of chicken noodle soup. 
Cheese, greens, and carrots. There we go. Ranch, cheese, bacon, croutons, onions, and peppers. There we are. Very good. You know what I'm saying, though, right? It's like... People go to restaurants, and they say, Hey, I'll have a, uh, I'll have a large Coke, and they'll say, Is Pepsi okay? And they're the kind of people who are, like, gonna make a big fuss about it. And say, like, Did I ask for Pepsi? No. Do you want to give me a big fat bowl of rat pesticide? Is that what you want to give me? Is that what you're trying to serve me in place of my coke? The waitress will be like, yes! But no, there's like, there's people like that, and then there's people who are like, oh yeah, Pepsi's fine. But other people that ask for Pepsi, does the phrase, is coke okay, ever come up? Has it ever come up? For you, in particular. You, li listener, viewer, who who I'm currently speaking with. It's kind of a, a one-way conversation right now, but later, later today, I hope you'll tell me. I love switching the menu out so I don't actually know what I'm doing here. It's always fun. All right, we actually got up to the 50 combo range here today. Worked out pretty well. Not bad, not bad. There goes that. Might even get up to 60. We get really lucky for the last few seconds here. Pepperoni and sausage, there we go. Eh, not gonna happen. Alright, 57. 57 ain't bad. Last pizza of the day. Out the door. 1600 bucks! Oh, we had the chance again. Oh no! I lost out on it. Oh, what a bummer. Oh well. Inspection passed. 10% buzz boost today, nothing out of line. Bringing the truth facts! Hello, Seaboat is here bringing you inside scoops from Miss Let's Do This! You know the launches do too low yields, lol! Like they will never admit to it! Sorry, Nelson, your chips are coming in short and an idea to eat in the little March countries early next year! You think this is last week of Durham? No way, the Durham's coming in hot! If you only knew about the crazies and miss, you'd give us a break! Never believe Pontello! These are in my truth packs, take them and love them, cheaboat out! Huh. Two mysterious golden tickets as well. Cool. Alright. Swap out a bunch of these here. I'm gonna keep the beers on tap, actually. Let's throw the salad in the daily special, though. Well, we're gonna remove the, uh... Let's take the pizza off there, throw the chicken back on, get that buzz going again. Ooh, 69% buzz. We're gonna boost that, boost that up to 74, though. Take this off, throw that back on there. 77, not bad. What if we can make that even better? How about this? Lasagna? No, that's not gonna do anything for me. Pasta, maybe? Pasta gives me up to 77 as well. 77 on the pizza, 77 on the burgers. Huh. You know, I'm gonna keep beer. Perfect. There we go. That's what we needed. Very nice. Alright, that'll do. That'll do. Perfect 69% buzz again. You can't go wrong with that, man. We're gonna have our best day ever. We're gonna have, we're gonna have a 69% buzz today, and we're gonna have a 69 combo in a perfect day. That's what's gonna happen here. That's gonna feel so good. It's gonna feel so good when that happens. That's a guaranteed thing. Luckily, I don't even have to try. It's just gonna happen naturally. Because I do these commentaries in post! No, that's not true. See, so, I'll, uh, I'll prove it to you. I'll prove that this is a live commentary. I'm gonna go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. See? No way I could have guessed that. No way I could have left! See? Right, left, mouse on the wheel. See, that's totally... No, no question now. Without a doubt, I'm currently picking her nose. There we go. <laughs> so now it's... Now it's confirmed, right? Now it's confirmed. At least... At least now you know. Because it's Mike's super short show. It was on Disney Channel. Oh man, I used to watch Disney Channel. That was that was the uh, that was the big three. In my childhood. There was uh, Channel Twenty Seven. There was Channel Twenty Nine. There was Channel Thirty Three. That was Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, and the Disney Channel. Those were my when I would sit down on the couch. I would I would go turn on the TV after school. I would sit down and I would go through my my channel listings in my head. I didn't have like a favorite system set up or anything, although I easily could have. I would just go through my channels. I'd go to Fo I'd actually go to Fox to start off with, because I would always look to see if there were either Seinfeld or oh, I'm gonna hype! Or, uh, or Simpsons reruns going. I'd usually watch those if those were on. 
But then I would go to Nickelodeon, I go to Cartoon Network, I go to Disney Channel for some reason. I'm pretty sure I didn't actually even watch anything on the Disney Channel. Did I not do that perfectly? What the hell? What? That's silly. I got that one. That's that's ridiculous. Oh well. I soiled it. It's all over. Anyway. I don't think I ever actually watched anything on the Disney Channel. It's just it's just part of the regimen for some reason. Then I go up to stuff like ESPN, ESPN2, ESPN the Ocho, ESPN18, ESPN94, ESP94, the Psychic Hotline Network, all that good stuff. I also tuned into G4 back in the day. Y'all remember G4? G4 was cool. G4 used to be cool. They had some cool shows on there. Really liked Arena. It was a game where they had people compete. It was in like, uh, what did they do? They did, uh, Unreal Tournament. Then they had like the America's Army full body simulation thing. It was like VR back in 2004 or something. They had you stand in this, uh, this big old circle. And they had a real gun. They had a real gun! No, they had, a, they had like a toy gun with all the buttons on it and stuff. That was cool. Like X-Play back in the day, too. Adam Sessler, Morgan Webb. It was good times. You guys like G4? I like G4. Some things got ruined. I'll admit that. Some things, uh... Could have been a bit better in the later stages of its life. Of course, it's gone now. Sad times. Replaced by, what is that, like the Esquire network or something. Because those are totally similar. When I think gaming, I think Esquire network. Now nah, they're like completely different things now. They're not even related. They like to pretend G4 never existed. But I remember. Pepperidge Farm remembers too. Pepperidge Farm, big sponsor of G4. Not really. Could be. I don't know. I was in charge of the marketing. Not anymore, at least. Buzz Boost actually totally thrown off our groove here. It's unfortunate. I might have actually been able to uh, get that beautiful curf per perfect, perfect combo. I so desperately wanted today. I was so excited about that. I was so sure it was going to happen, too. There we go. Season and cook. Combo's still not bad today. We're making a decent amount of money here, too, actually. We got some good stuff on the menu. Got quite a few orders as well. Not bad. I think I get better at this soup making, man. Used to feel good about it. Now it's all kinds of. Hey, man, you done with that soup yet? You're real aggressive. I imagine most of these people. Oh god! Why throw that on there? What am I doing? That was terrible. Oh well. I say I imagine most of these people would be pretty aggressive. Not known for your patience when you're going in and ordering a steak in a one-star cafe. Quite a few of them, actually. There we go. Almost making it through the day. We are uh Looking like we should be able to afford a few upgrades as soon as this is all said and done, actually. Because I believe we're getting ourselves a, uh... Well, no, actually, I don't think we had a bet today, did we? Could have taken a bet with the silver ticket. We'll hang on to that for the, uh... For the better stuff, though. I'm getting a decent amount of orders in the last couple of hours here, too. Not bad! Not bad at all. Thousand Island cheese, greens, and carrots. Shipping out the chicken. I think we can already uh, get the bonga hype! I think we can already get the chicken upgrade as well, can't we? Of course, nothing ever changes with this, so it's just basically increasing the price for no extra work. <laughs> totally desirable. I'm gonna end this day just shy of 2500 bucks. Let's see if indeed we did have the opportunity for another 69 combo. 78, alright, so I don't feel as bad. I don't feel as bad about losing out on that. Oh, man. 
We're so close. 17 out of 20. A new catering job is available, actually. Extra events. We can also buy the fun menus. Ooh! After 10 years, I've been promoted from assistant refuse engineer to head of refuse and environmental services. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Wonderful. Good job, buddy. Cool. That'll do it for this episode of Cook, Serve, Delicious. Guys, leave a like if you're enjoying it. I appreciate that support a lot. My name's Bear. I'll see you next time.